Hey guys, this is Foolish Mortal, uh, back with some more Mass Effect 1. Uh, we are now in a really good <coughs> opportunity um, to finish up some of these uh, uh, some of these missions. <coughs> so we can do uh, Rita's Sister and Jaleed's Secret, Presidium Prophet. Uh, we only got one more to that, of those to do, and I know where that one's at. Uh, let's see. What's the other one? Signal tracking, yeah. So we'll do, we'll get some of these taken care of and grab some experience before we head out. No. Wards access, there we go. I should be able to, uh... Do you desire to learn of the Inkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Inkindlers? The truth of the Inkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language, and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. There we go. Is this how the Enkindlers would want you to use this gift of consciousness? The Enkindlers would wish for their message to be spread to all sentient races. The Enkindlers wouldn't wish their message to be spread by breaking society's laws. This one hears wisdom. Perhaps enthusiasm has clouded judgment in this matter. Yay. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Silly fundies. <laughs> I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Yay. Okay, so now let's head down to Korstein. Yeah, as many times as I have played this game, I'm doing these in a very strange pattern that I normally do. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, I almost never get uh, Garrus and uh, uh, Rex this early. million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half-naked women, shaking their asses on a stage. I can't decide if that's funny or sad. What? You don't think they're here because of the food? <laughs> I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the, uh, view. Hmm. Hey, Lieutenant, put your tongue back in your mouth before you trip on it. <laughs> okay, so we can actually, uh, actually watch a, uh, little lap dance. I got business here, but not with you. So I'm thinking, uh... Oh, actually, we can talk to Harkin. Okay. Commander! What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? Oh, women. So you think it's that easy? Don't mess with you. Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. 
This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. Like you know I'll who he is at all? After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. It's like such a weird little you know, sound effect when they you do You might that. make a good oh, well. general yourself one day. Someday. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Not really my kind of place, but there sure are some spectacular views here. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. Have it your way. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Go away. Oh. Let me drink. Oh, we don't get to make fun of him. And now we can't go back there either, so. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Are you talking to me? Push it off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What was that about? I guess we better go find out. what that exclamation point is. See, I hope, <clears throat> hope everybody's enjoying the, uh, uh, the playthrough so far. Oh, this is the wrong spot. Let's go down to CSEC. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot quicker to um, to use the fast travel because um, these uh, elevators suck. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I'd heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. <laughs> I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay, so <clears throat> a little bit later you'll actually start getting um, uh, Spectre-specific gear. Yeah, they're just, it's just so expensive to, <clears throat> to get anything that's going to be a, any kind of an upgrade, so. It's not really worth uh, buying stuff real, real early, um, but once we get, um, probably about level, I want to say like 15, we'll start, uh, finding stuff that's, uh, sells for pretty good amounts of money and <clears throat> shortly after that money becomes n uh, a non-issue basically 
<coughs> Excuse me. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. <laughs> I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Idiot. <laughs> Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. But you're still using her. This job isn't <sighs> easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always playing the angles, detective? As part of the job. Now are you gonna oh. help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. <coughs> I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. <laughs> where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, I'm sure he's not going to be suspicious when a Spectre shows up. So now we'll go to the markets, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna make make you guys suffer through a uh, another uh, elevator ride if I if I can help it. <laughs> now this can go a couple of ways too, but I'm gonna Hold play it. this pretty That's straight. Close enough, Army. You got my payment. Do you have the mods? Sure, the goods. Yeah, that looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. So you can arrest him or just, or attempt to arrest him, but... Uh, Here you go. <clears throat> I usually play it fairly straight. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Nobody died. I could shoot someone if it makes you feel better. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I mean, as much as uh, people hate those two, it's... Is that... Ah. Uh. Oh! Oh, I hope I didn't screw that up. I may have. Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> I forgot about the, uh...
Yep. Excuse me, the uh, the reporter. And I always go the wrong way. I always take the the long way around that circle for some reason. Wow, there's a lot of walking around in this episode. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, oh, where are we going next? Um, so we can go back to Chalik. Go back to Emily Wong. Let's do Chalik first. Oh, and there's another one I can do from the med clinic too, I think. I was hoping to be uh, finished with the Citadel uh, in this episode, but we'll see. It'll be close. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chellick. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. And there we go, another level up. Oh gosh, um, I really want to get Charm kind of maxed out. See, I've already picked up some Intimidate. Um, whew, gosh. And that was probably a mistake. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, so we can do, um, let's go up to, um, the embassies next. Yeah, a lot of these are just, uh, kind of running back and forth. <clears throat> I wish her jog was a little bit faster. <laughs> they did fix the uh, <clears throat> the charge thing in the uh, the next game, though. Thankfully. Remember Brain this guy from our first for our uh, this first is Citadel really episode. Not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. 
she will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Oh Lord, Please Elcor, you talk so slow. If you will excuse me. I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Wow. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. I mean, that's just really smooth Approving. camera work. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Mm-hmm. Two more Paragon I'll points. Get it. Do not listen to my bolus compatriot. Yeah, 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 whatever. I got robots to kill. Eventually. Consort chambers. I think I'm running a little bit too fast. Excuse me. I have an appointment. That's right. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the Consort? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling. Though you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you are just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. Yep. So basically they're... Keisha, sort of. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Thank you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Hold on one second. Well, <clears throat> I just realized that I had my overlay turned on, so yay for being forgetful. <clears throat> Sometimes I forget which game I'm uh, going to be recording on. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so Legion is getting ready to launch in um, like next month, and uh, <clears throat> so there's like a huge... A uh, huge patch being downloaded, so... Okay. Uh, so we gotta do... Uh, so we're down to, like, the last couple. I can't remember exactly where that one... The first... The first one is.
think med clinic will be a little bit closer. I think. <clears throat> yeah, there she is. Oh, wait, there's a. Well, actually, this we've screwed this I one up too. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Who is that on the vid? What did they want? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. <laughs> I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. Morlan's famous really shop. No, kind of don't say it's... You're a doctor. How did you end up uh here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with you. I chose to keep the yeah, medical tradition already, alive, already but not I'll the be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, nice thanks. talking to you. Whatever. Get out of the way. I'll try not to do that too often. I don't know if I can do this scene now. No. You can only do that, like, right at the very beginning with these two. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Aww, we didn't get any points. Oh. oh, another side mission. Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. Either you're cheating or you're not. I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. Still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Uh... Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. 
I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Mm-hmm. Not what I heard. Um, what did you hear exactly? Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. <laughs> I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. <laughs> oh, sour grapes. Sour grapes. Hey there, welcome to Flux. Mm. So you guys knew what this was going to be. <clears throat> Alright. So I'll uh, pause the video and I'll be right back.